Hi there viewers, I'm the Extraordinary Tourist and welcome to Wednesday's edition of my Studio Diaries. In this edition I'm going to get started on the artwork that I mentioned in Monday's blog, or Monday's vlog. Uh, the cat artwork, it's part of this sketch here that I'm going to take up into a painting that's going to span two canvases. So I won't go on talking here, we'll just get straight into filming the early part of this painting. As you can see I've got my two small canvases set up side by side and I always start off my painting by sketching the artwork onto the surface in red paint. Uh, I don't draw any lines beforehand, it's just me looking at the sketch and pretty much copying that onto the board with the red paint. And you'll see that I do the same sort of construction lines that I do as if, like the same lines as if I was actually sketching with a pencil. Once I have all my drawing done, I take whatever's left of my red paint and start using it to sort of block in areas of the painting that are going to be mid-toned, if you like, and this red all becomes part of my underpainting of primary colours that you may have seen me do on other videos. So the red is the mid-tone, and I go around and sort of roughly block in any mid-tones and just anything that feels like it should be red, basically. Once I've done the red, I come in with the yellow, and yellow is obviously for lighter areas, but not necessarily highlights. I usually try and leave the canvas white where there's going to be sort of really white highlights, but yellow I bring in as sort of lighter areas that are lighter than mid-tone but darker than white. Then once I've done the yellow I come in with the blue and logically the blue is for all the shaded areas and shadows and anything that's likely to be darker or even black in the final painting. So that's it for this first part. Uh, that completes my underpainting. And the next stage from here is to start blocking in my major colours. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed watching the first stages of me creating this artwork. I'm not too sure if I'll be able to film the entire process just for the amount of space that would take up in terms of storing it on a hard drive and stuff. I can't really work fast enough and the footage that I've just filmed there took um, over two gigabytes of storage to film in high definition video and I really can't um, I really don't have the storage space to be able to do that for the whole thing and I just, I just can't work that fast but I'll try to film as much as I can and give you a sense of how the work's progressing over the next few videos so hope you'll keep tuning in for that until next time which will be Friday's edition we shall see you later Bye for now.